Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to another video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript machine coding question in React. What we have to do is we are given an API. As you can see on the screen, this is the BS API. Here we have to implement search plus pagination and showcase if we can handle the searching of the beers, a single beer with the beer name. So we have the query param for that and we have to handle the pagination. So we have the pagination API as well. So we have to implement search plus pagination and showcase it's working. So let's get started. Let me copy the BS API first, the base URL from here. And I'll paste it. like this so that we can have the BS API at a place and now what we are going to do is we are going to make an API call and we are going to showcase the uh, uh, the BS list so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the BS component and here I'll return a div in that we'll have the beer so class here let me save this and to this component i'll destructure and i'll get the values that the b is written so in the response i can see we can get the name time tagline and the image url so these three you can show other uh, details as well but uh, in case uh, during the interview is right it's uh, advisable that we keep things very simple so that we can achieve all the functionalities in the given time so that's why I'm just going to pull name, tagline and image URL. So let me copy that name, tagline. I think it's L small. Okay. So tagline and then image URL. And now we have to show this. So I'm creating a two column over here. In one column, we'll show the name and the timeline. And in the other column, we'll show the image. So in the first column will show the image mg source equals to image URL and alt equals to then name of the beer. So we can have this and here we can show h2 the beer name and then below that the p tag we can show the tagline. Now let's make an API call, fetch the data and render the beer so that we can style it. So here in the app, I'm going to create a function const make API call and in this we are going to make the API call. This will be a async function and then here <coughs> I'm going to create a state so beers set beers first to use state and then an array so we are going to have the array of responses and this use state we have to import so import use state from react now here because this is a sync call I'm going to wrap things in try catch. So try catch console dot error error while calling the API and then we pass the whatever the error is. And here I'm going to make the call. So let response equals to fetch. And the URL that we have, we are going to pass that. Then the response equals to, so this will be a await call. And then here as well, await response dot JSON. We have to pass the JSON from that. And then we are going to set the BS with the response, whatever we receive. Now let's cross check. So this is going to return us an array of records. Now once we got the beers, we have to display. 
so let me rename this years list and then below that we are going to show list.beer sorry years.map and we are going to pass that to the beer component the complete key so i'm going to spread the object as it is and then we are going to have the key as key dot name that will be a unique identifier i guess and now this make api call we have to invoke this as soon as the component mounts so we are going to create use effect hook and in the use effect we are going to make the call right now i'm keeping the dependency array as empty so that we can make the api call when the component mounts now you see the moment i call the function we are seeing the image with the name and the tagline so let's style it a little we got two classes right so let me open the styles and now here we have the beer class so dot beer display flex line items center justify content space between and then beer image max width as 100 pixel we are going to set it as 50 pixel rather so that we can see the image so width equals to 50 pixel and even though after setting we see that the images are quite big that's because the height is not mapping to the ratio so we can keep the height also a limited or we can keep the height auto let's for now let's keep it as 120 pixel but this decompresses the ratio for few images or let's keep it as it is so we got the beer we just have to align the names so what i'm going to do is in the second column let's keep it as center only so this becomes center and here it becomes space between and now in the beer followed by two and child two we have to say flex wrap wrap and here we'll set this as flex display land flex and then flex as one now zero so zero things that one makes it full display justify content center and align items center so we got the name and the images And to the second child also, we mark each of the deals as flex one hundred percent. Display inline flex 
so this should be 100% 100% okay there is only h2 comma p center so we got the images that name and the tagline next to each other now let's add the pagination to this so for pagination what we are going to do is we are going to add a simple drop down so that we can paginate in the upcoming video we are i'm going to create another complete component for the pagination and after that that component can be used but for now what i'm going to do is we are going to create a pagination bar that will navigate so we are going to create a drop down that will have the count of the pages using which we can navigate further so for that we are going to create a select box so do and here we are going to have the label page and then we are going to set the html for as the page then we have select here we are going to have the id as page so that the label belongs to this um, select box only and then the option so the first is page one let's say we have five pages as of now so two three four and five and when the pages changes so on change we are going to set the value set page e dot target dot value and we have to create this set page state so here on page and set page equals to u state one and by default i'm going to have the per page as 25 so in the api if you see right in the pagination api we got page and per page so i'm setting the default per page as 25 you can set uh, or you can dynamically pull this as well we are just going to change the number so that the pagination count changes so I got the per page. Now this per page will be passed to the make API call along with the page. And these two will be included in the query parameter. So here we'll have query page equals to page and per page equals to per page. And every time the value of page changes, we have to make the call again. So I'll update that in the dependency and then pass it over here with the per page. Now let me save this. If I come back, if I reload. So nothing happened. We got an error while unexpected token invalidated JSON. So we got something different in the response. Let's check with the URL. So we got page and per page. So there should be ampersand. So we got, okay, the URL. Okay. Now it should work. So we got the page. If I navigate to second page, you see that the images or the new entries are fetched similar to page 3 as we are changing the page 
we are navigating to the new peers list so this is how you can add the pagination the dependency should be passed to the use effect hook so that it can make the api call now the final thing is we have to add the search option so that we can search the entries so let's create an input box here next to the page or before the page anyway so here i am creating the input box input type equals to text placeholder is type here name and then we are going to have the on change event in the on change event we are going to set the beer name so e set beer name e dot target dot value and then we are going to have the value as well this will become a control component the value is beer name now let's create the state so const beer name and set beer name equals to new state and then we have empty quotes by default and now anytime if we search something over here that will be set in the state beer name now this beer name we have to access and pass in the query search so what we are going to do is we are going to accept the beer name as well in the function and if i check so it is beer underscore name that's what we have to use so i'm going to pass it over here so i'm going to add a check that if beer name not equals to empty string then we have to return ampersand beer underscore name equals to beer name otherwise an empty string we have to return let me check the braces over here so this is after this beer name is there if i remove the check okay so we got this let's wrap that in the variable once beer name search and place it over here let me remove this so it should be here rather than here the semicolon and this will be the beer name and this beer name search we have to pass after the per page so that it can pass the string accordingly so whatever the beer name search is there So if BNM not equals to empty string, we have to search with the BNM. Otherwise, we have to pass the empty string to the query param. So this should take care of this. Now this beer name we have to pass in the dependency as well as to the function so that it can make the API call. Now if you see, if I search for only trashy blonde, so trashy. So it has searched for trashy blonde. Along with that, we have the pagination as well. So this pagination has to be fixed. This should be based on the number of response we receive for the particular search. But because our API does not provide that, we have hard coded it. But it should come from the response list. So this is how you can impl implement input plus search. The whole play is with how effectively you use the use effect hook and how you pass the dependencies that allows the component to re-render. I hope you have learned something new today. Thank you for your time.